Because of its relatively small historic center, culture, rich history, and great food, Rome is considered to be one of the most romantic travel destinations. As the capital of Italy, it's home to some of the world's most recognized historical architecture, monuments, and art. Hi, I'm Donna Salerno, and welcome to Rome. Let's discover the top 10 things to do in the Eternal City. Vatican City is the smallest independent country in the world and the center of the Catholic Church, drawing millions of visitors each year. The St. Peter's Basilica, Sistine Chapel, museums, and artwork are showcased by such Renaissance artists as Michelangelo and Raphael. A private audience with the Pope can be arranged with your tour. Make the ascent to the roof of St. Peter's Basilica by elevator or stairs for a breathtaking view of the square and the city. Explore the Colosseum, which held up to 50,000 spectators for animal hunts and gladiator contests. It's the largest ancient amphitheater ever built and is considered one of the greatest works of Roman engineering and architecture. Don't miss the beautiful Arch of Constantine just outside the entrance. The Roman Forum was the heart of ancient Roman civilization. It was the venue for major public events, such as elections, criminal trials, processions, and public speaking. There are countless columns, temples, and sanctuaries. Palatine Hill is one of the most ancient parts of the city and has been called the first nucleus of the Roman Empire. The site is now mainly a large open-air museum. This is a monument to honor Vittorio Emmanuel II, the first king of a unified Italy. The base of the structure houses a museum of Italian reunification. You can climb the monument to see the tomb of the unknown soldier and complete your tour by visiting the impressive terrace outside with amazing views of the city. The Capitol Museums contain Roman statues and artifacts medieval and renaissance art, along with jewels, coins, and other items. Completed in 120 AD, the Pantheon is a former Roman temple, reputed to be the best preserved building from ancient Rome. In 609, it was given to the Pope and converted into a church. Raphael, Italian kings, Victor Emmanuel II, and Umberto I are buried here. The colossal stairway connecting the Spanish Embassy with the Trinita de Monte Church. This stairway is a famous local spot for people watching. Relax at a cafe in one of the city's most beautiful Baroque piazzas with its majestic fountains and church. In times past, this square was used for games and flooded for special celebrations. Trevi is Rome's largest Baroque fountain and not to be missed. Legend has it, toss a coin in from over your shoulder to ensure a return trip. The villa sits in Borghese Park, one of the largest green spaces around. The house was commissioned by Cardinal Borghese to act as his home and to house his art collection. Visit the impressive sculptures by Bernini, Caravaggio, and Canova. There is so much to see that one trip isn't enough. Discover the Basilica de Santa Maria Maggiore, St. Angelo Castle, and so much more. Rome has it all. What would you like to experience on your trip? A private Vatican Museum tour? Papal audience? Classic Rome highlights? Cooking class? Let Donna Salerno Travel customize your stay to maximize your experience. You'll love where we take you.